The name of the program is Policy and Data Science, and that reflects the fact that we're trying to bring together two worlds that are often kept separate, the world of policy and the world of data science. People who concentrate on policy, both in terms of training and in terms of policy development, often are very good at asking questions or identifying problems that need to be solved. People who work on or are trained in data science are often very good at manipulating data. Very few people bring these worlds together, especially on a university campus. We're addressing that gap by taking people who have a background in asking important questions about policy, policy development, policy problems, and training them in data science so that they'll be able to have skills on both sides of the equation. If you're getting your data from life, you generally don't have the ability to set up controlled experiments. And that forces you to use slightly more sophisticated statistical techniques. I decided to do pods because I think it's going to be very important for the field which I would like to go into. I think that data analysis in the field of refugee and forced migration studies is incredibly valuable because it allows us to actually understand the crisis and its complexities. We're able to actually give a real life representation as opposed to just throwing out facts and figures which can then be completely misinterpreted and misconstrued. I don't think that there's any ability to make large-scale institutional change without a really strong grasp of data and how to manipulate it, how to use it, and how to look at the data other people are using and figure out what's wrong with it, figure out where the biases are, figure out what, th what, what perspectives are being ignored. Why I think uh, data science and understanding data is really important for policy is when you're evaluating the efficacy of these policies. So to know whether or not a policy has actually been working or whether it's like actually beneficial for a community, it needs to be evidence-based. And a lot of times that evidence uh, comes in the form of really large data sets. So you need to be able to analyze those data sets properly to know whether or not um, a policy has actually been working. I think the, the main reason I was interested in getting involved in pods is because I think it's really important that not only do humanities students have the skills to engage with data, to, to actually interact with, with the sheer amount of data that's coming out there, but also it's important for the policy world to be have access to people in the humanities, people who have studied philosophy, people who have studied political science. And so I think that the, getting these two worlds together is a really important first step towards improving public policy, improve, uh, improving health and social policy outcomes in Canada and, and in other countries. It doesn't matter how tight your theory is if you can't convince people. And what's great about POTS is that you get to uh, put the skills that you've learned into practice during an internship with an organization in Montreal. Every organization, whether they're businesses, uh, local governments, NGOs, uh, want their work to have a desired impact. And I think data science can help them achieve better results. The new skills I'll be building in pods will help me to analyze data from so many different sources. Uh, personally, I'm interested in poverty reduction and kind of the impact the public policy on poverty has on like redistribution and just the social welfare of the most disadvantaged parts of society. So I, I'm hoping to use these skills to analyze data and see kind of what are the most useful policies. I had a chance to intern for the United Nations World Food Program and also sub subsequently for the Brookings Tsinghua Center for Public Policy in areas of uh, communication and knowledge management. Although like these experiences enable me to gain invaluable experience in policy formulation, I realized like the crucial need for me to learn like data analysis and techniques which are prerequisite for uh, tackling any like large scale problems in uh, public governance. Pods is allowing me to build new skills in quantitative analysis that I've never really explored before. Most of my research is often focused on qualitative analysis and things like that. But what I'm really hoping to do is be able to combine the two and marry them so I can get a more well-rounded look at health policy and data analysis and to think more critically from an angle that I haven't really thought of before. I just think I'm really excited about the future of what I can do with that analysis. It's opening really exciting doors.